Welcome back to my channel. This is Jackie O. Thanks for tuning back into my channel. For those of you that subscribe, thank you so much. I appreciate your love and your support. And for the return and subscribers, thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. So today I am going to be doing a head wrap tutorial. Now there are so many different ways that I usually tie my head wrap and oftentimes people ask me, oh Jackie, how do you tie your head wrap like this or like that? So today I'm going to show you how I tie this lovely head wrap around my head and I'm going to also tie other head wraps on my head and I'm just going to give a little background of each head tie or fabric and in tree or in the Kun language we refer to it as entoma. Um, I know that Nigerians call it Ankara but in Ghana we call it entoma. So each entoma has a meaning and it also has a name. So this one that I'm wearing, for example, is the kinti cloth. Now this is not the original kinti or the real kinti. This is the textile version or the wax version of the kinti cloth that I have on my head. So the colors in it represent something. The red represents the blood that our ancestors shed. Um, the yellow in the fabric represents the gold that the country had. Ghana was once known for gold. So it was called the Gold Coast. So that's what the gold represents in the fabric. And the green represents the forest of the land. And the black represents the people of the nation. Let's get right into the tutorial. For this one, you will need a yard of fabric, any type of fabric. And you just tie it like this and you hold it into two equal pieces or one knot and then create another knot but kind of loosen it don't make it too tight and then spread this And this is how you tie this one. So this one on my head right here is called Obapa. And Obapa simply means a good woman in the Kun language. Woman of virtue, a virtuous woman. It also means a God-fearing woman. A woman that has respect for others and a very humble woman. That's what a Baba simply means. Now a Baba can be given as a gift to a woman obviously or what most men do when they're going to ask for a woman for their hand in marriage is they will present Obapa fabric. Now that's what how I got this one. My husband actually gave it to me as part of his bridal gifts to me to ask for my hand in marriage. He brought this fabric called Now this one right here is called Felicia. Um, there is very little information as to why it's called Felicia. My mom told me that when a fabric or a textile comes out and when people aren't buying it, they'll just give it a name. And sometimes the name doesn't even have anything to do with the pattern. And that's how it will sell fast. So she said this one doesn't really have a meaning. Sometimes she just calls it life entoma, which is something that 
it's just the fabric, but it doesn't necessarily have a name that has a meaning or the colors doesn't represent anything. <laughs> which basically means a group of bananas um, so there's a picture in it but I don't know if you could see it well here if you look closely at the picture it somewhat resembles a group of bananas so my mom told me that that's what the picture in this fabric represents simply means a group of bananas. So this fabric on my head is called a hinfi. This one doesn't have any meaning, um, but it just simply means uh, the king's castle. So a hinfi in the tree language means the king's castle. And another thing is that a lot of times these fabrics can come in a variety of colors. Um, I love all the colors in this one um, and the leaves in it once again reminds me of the fall and it's not such a loud loud fabric it goes with a lot of colors and this one doesn't have a name and if it does I just don't know it or my mom couldn't tell me so there's a lot of fabrics that sometimes they don't have names for, such as this one on my head so but it is a very pretty fabric <laughs> exactly what that means and she didn't really have an explanation as to what that means it doesn't really have a name that means anything um, significant I love this one because it has all the pretty leaves and it reminds me of the fall season which we are approaching or we are in already <laughs> tutorial um thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to my channel 
um, give this video a thumbs up and, and leave any comments if you have any. If you are Ghanaian and if you happen to know more about the names of some of these fabrics, please let me know. Don't be hesitant to share them with me. I will really appreciate it. I will also leave my social media links in the description box. See you in my next video. Bye.